Hi, this is Jethro Jones, host of the Transformative Principle podcast and the Transformative Leadership Summit. I hope you enjoy these teasers from the summit. It starts July 31st, and I would be honored if you would join us for some high-intensity learning just before you start the school year. Sign up at transformativeleadershipsummit.com. Enjoy this teaser with Justin Bader. Hi there, this is Jethro Jones, host of the Transformative Principle and the Transformative Leadership Summit. I am excited to bring you this little snippet of what you're going to get by joining the Transformative Leadership Summit this year. And please go to transformativeleadershipsummit.com and sign up to be a part of it. Any surprises really in that evaluation because there's, you know, there's been a conversation, there's been, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of kind of written communication as well, just to kind of back that up and to, to document what, you know, was what was discussed and what was seen. But yeah, I mean, I had the same experience as a teacher where really it was the formal evaluations that were required and that was it. You know, and if there was an informal visit, it was weird. It was like, oh, what, what are you doing here? Is something wrong? Are you here to <laughs> call somebody to the... The office or send them home or what's what's going on yeah but you as, always you know, know you always know justin that you are not doing right as a principal when you walk into the classroom and everybody stops and says what what do you need <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely and and what i realized as a principal was uh that i learned a ton from those informal visits you know like when i, I think there's value in seeing kind of a prepared lesson best case scenario a formal observation i you know i don't want to rag on formal evaluations because i think they they accomplish a, you know a, a good purpose but i learned so much just from showing up and paying attention and i don't i don't know jethro if you had this experience at all but as as a new principal especially with my master teachers i would often show up and kind of hang out for a few minutes in the classroom. And if it was an informal visit, I had been led to believe that my purpose in being there was to provide some sort of suggestion for improvement, right? That I show up, I observe a little bit, give them, you know, a compliment, a suggestion and another compliment. And and that's kind of my purpose for being there. And what I found was that I, I often didn't really have much to say that would be helpful in, in that moment. You know what I mean? Like I, I felt like with some of my best teachers, in order for me to provide helpful feedback, I would really have to be nitpicking. You know, have you ever been like nitpicked? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? doesn't feel very good. <laughs> no, especially if you know if you put a lot of effort into what you're doing, and the the worst kind of nitpicking I think is out of context nitpicking where, you know, as administrators, we come in and we see like two minutes of a lesson and we have no idea what happened yesterday or the five minutes before we observed, we have no idea what's going to happen next. And we make a suggestion for improvement that the teacher just has to kind of like tolerate. Right. Yeah. So again, I don't want to rag on any administrator who's getting into classrooms or any practice that, that gets administrators into classrooms and talking about teaching, because I think, uh, you know, any movement in that direction is positive. But I, I will tell you, I think I avoided getting into classrooms, you know, as, as much as I could have, because I always gave myself that burden of, okay, I'm going to go in there and I have to provide some useful feedback. And, and what I started to realize was that it was actually teachers that were giving me feedback a lot of the time about what we needed to do as a school. And sometimes that was in terms of professional development. It wasn't a suggestion that I needed to make to that teacher in that moment that was going to help them grow. It was something we did as a whole school, perhaps in PLCs or if we needed to bring in some, you know, some other type of professional development. It was that learning for me that I found to, to by far be the most valuable. And when I kind of let go of that requirement for myself that I give some sort of feedback, some sort of compliment, and, and really try to fix something in the teacher's practice in that moment, that I think I actually got to be a, a better listener and a more ultimately a more effective decision maker. Yeah. So what should our, um, our ob- visits and observations, what should that lead to? What kind of information can we get from the classroom to, to improve our school or improve the classroom? I mean, what, what's our next step here? <laughs> 